Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post. If you're new, my name is Neil, and thank you so much for joining me today. We are looking at jerseys, not NHL jerseys like we typically do, but we're going outside, outside of North America, all the way to the UK, where we've got EIHL jerseys. There's not many, okay? There's only, let me see, 10. There's only 10 jerseys, but there's something very special about these jerseys because they're they're supposed to be authentic. They include ads. I don't think I've ever, of all the 1,000, 2,000 plus jersey concepts that I've looked at in the past three years on this channel, I do not believe I have ever looked at jersey concepts which also include ads to make them the most authentic as possible. Obviously, we don't have ads on jerseys in the NHL yet until next season, but in the EIHL and some other leagues across uh, Europe, there's, you know, there's ads all over the jerseys. That's not really that unusual for them. So I'll say before we get into this, I don't support ads on jerseys. I don't like ads on jerseys. But if I'm going to look at jerseys from these leagues that have ads on jerseys, why not make it authentic by the designer? And the designer is Chris Ward, and he has sent me these 10. I've seen one on social media. I haven't seen the others, and the one I did see on social media was weeks ago, and I don't even remember what it was. So let's get into this, and let's react to some of these jerseys. Uh, these are in, I think, alphabetical order. I guess it doesn't really matter. So let's bring this up, and we'll go from there. So the first one is, hold on, hold on, hold on, is, oh, the Belfast Giants. Okay. So, oh, he even included the original jersey on the bottom right. Okay, so let's change up this video a little bit. We're gonna, A, react, but B, answer the question, is what he created better than what actually exists? And I'm gonna try and compare some of the ads as well. So the, the Hyundai one is correct, the Heineken one's on there. So like, he, uh, the realism of this jersey is super impressive. Again, I don't support ads on jerseys, but the fact that he went that this, the extra level, the extra length to make this as authentic as possible, I appreciate that uh, due diligence from Chris. Thank you for doing that, Chris. Okay, so let's answer the question, is this better? I struggle with some of these jerseys because the logo is so low. It's just, it's very unnatural to me as a hockey fan to see a logo that low. But if that's what happens in, on these jerseys, then, then that's what happens. I mean, I can't really argue against the method or madness from the EIHL as far as where they place logos on jerseys, depending on ad placement. Uh, I'm not going to comment specifically on, on any of the ads. I don't really care about them. I'm just, I'm glad they're on there to be an authentic uh, version. I'll say as far as design, I like the neck much better. I like the subtle little gold or, or I even might call that coffee cream color uh, just lining the top versus the red and that color. I think it's nice to see the color from the shoulders bleed up into the neck. I do like the stripe in the bottom section of the jersey right behind the logo. That is nice. Uh, I like the orientation of the stripe as well. Uh, or the 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 design or rather so you got the color and then green and then white and then green again and then the red and then so on where the actual jersey is red uh, white green that color yellow and then green so i like the i like what he's done here with the striping and the fact that it mimics through the middle of the jersey as well so yeah i think this is better than the jersey that actually exists so we're off to a good start next is the card of devils okay I mean, I love seeing the original jersey next to it because the EIHL jerseys, while I'm familiar with, I'm not incredibly familiar with. Like, that just looks familiar in the sense that, okay, yeah, I've probably seen that before. Not that, oh, yeah, that's from this specific year or whatever. I don't, I'm not educated enough to know that. But I think immediately, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but on first impressions, what he has come up with is better than the one that exists. I kind of like the one that exists, though, as far as how things are designed and the striping is sitting but the jersey that he designed is very close to, hmm, I need to equate this to like an NHL jersey, maybe like the Islanders, I'm thinking, the Islanders home jersey or reverse retro. Uh, I like it. I, I do like the the layout of this. I like, I don't even mind the ads on the arms for this one. They kind of feel like they fit there. I love the whales call out in the middle of the neck. That is really cool. And uh, yeah, I think this one to me is better than the, the previous one, the Belfast Giants that we looked at. So, so far the Cardiff Devils are in the lead for the one that I like the most. And it is better than the one that exists. Although I do like the one that exists. Let's move on. Coventry Blaze. Ooh, look at that gradient in there. Okay, let's look at the original. So the original has like this texture that's coming down the black inside, or the sides rather, of, of the body of the torso. He's replicated that pattern, not in the middle of the jersey, but on the white on the arm, which is better. I think the one that he's designed is better. I don't necessarily like that pattern in there in general. If it was up to me, I'd probably just remove it entirely. 
I like the gradient though. You typically, when you see gradients on Jersey, we're talking a vertical gradient that goes top to bottom or bottom to top, whatever. But here he's gone with a horizontal gradient. And that is that is definitely unusual, but I kind of like it. Specific, and specifically calling up calling to those shades of blue, a lighter blue on one side, a bit of a darker blue on the other side. I think that's okay. And then obviously he's mimicked the small little blue striping on each arm where on the darker blue section of the jersey, he's used the lighter blue on the stripe, and then vice versa on the other side, he's used the darker blue stripe on the lighter side of the jersey. I like this one actually a lot. Uh, gradients are risky, but I do like this one. I think it is absolutely better than the one that exists. I don't, I don't like the pattern in the black on the one that exists. So yeah, this is definitely better. Is it better than, what was the last one, the Card of Devils? I don't think it's better, even though I like the color combination better, I don't think it's better than the Card of Devils. I just like that arrangement a little bit more. Okay, let's go on to the next one, which is the Dundee Stars. All right, so actually, I guess no one, I was gonna say similar to the one that exists, but it's really not. The striping on the arm is different, the shoulders and neck area are different, I guess the shoulders are similar, but the neck area is completely different. The striping in the middle of the jersey is different, there's no striping at the bottom of the jersey. So I'll, I'll say absolutely this is better than the one that exists for one specific reason, and I think that at the bottom of the jersey that exists on the bottom right, the 450 Taxis logo is on top of basically four colors at the bottom. It is so unbelievably busy at the bottom middle section of the jersey where I feel like there's a, a lot more room for those ads to breathe. I like the stripe in the background. The logo sits nicely on that. I think the neck is better as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, so far, I think I've liked every single one better than the one that exists. So, Chris, you're you're on a roll here as far as I, what I like personally. I, obviously, there's no right or wrong, but let's move on. Five Flyers. Oh, that's a nice jersey. That is such a nice jersey. Immediately my favorite so far. Oh, I just like the, like, that, I don't know the name for that pattern. Like, kilts, uh plaid kind of I don't I don't know the right word for it but I like it. it's just in there so subtly at the bottom and then it bleeds up into nothingness at the top beautiful colorization that specific shade of yellow and blue complement each other so well the shoulders have more breathing room because they're not yellow the blue can, continues up all the way to the neck a nice little balance of yellow up here on the top of the neck to balance with the bottom of the sleeves and in the middle of the jersey where the color is as well this is I really like this jersey a lot like, this is definitely my favorite so far. I can't wait to see some more, so let's do that. All right, next up. Okay, the Flames. Go for Flames. Oh, both of these are nice, actually. I, I do I do have a Flames jersey. I would have worn it for this, for this video or put it in the background, but uh, it is packed away in a tote because I, I literally have no room to hang all my jerseys. I have 120 Adidas NHL jerseys, not including Reebok or Fanatics or whatever else. And I just, I literally don't have room for all those international jerseys, so they're kind of packed away, unfortunately. But yeah, both of these are pretty nice. I do love the design of the one that he came up with, though. It is just completely different. It almost reminds me of the Colorado Avalanche Stadium Series jersey, except for an elevated version of it. I would love to see this on an NHL team. Just this design. I don't, I don't even care what team it is. Dallas, Detroit, Minnesota. I don't care. I like this design. I think it has a lot of promise. And those colors are great together. Uh, it's a little dark. I, I wish, obviously I can't reimagine the brand on the fly here, but if I was going to be in charge of anything, I would probably, I would lighten up that blue. I, uh, the, the burgundy or whatever you want to call that, the ruby cranberry, it's dark already. So I would like to see a complementary color uh, that's a little bit lighter. The yellow is, is nice, but I would like to see a lighter blue. Maybe the, the, the type of blue in the Fife Flyers one that we just saw, just something a little bit lighter. But regardless, this is a beautiful design. I, I love every aspect of it. Uh, and I even like the one that exists as well. So there's, there's no wrong here, but the one that he created is phenomenal, actually. It is my favorite so far. Okay, next up, we got the oh, Glasgow clan, the best logo in the history of professional sports. I don't care if we're talking hockey, football, baseball, basketball, soccer, whatever. I don't care. That is the best logo in professional sports. I will die on that hill. I love it. There is literally nothing wrong with it. And if, if, if I could afford it, I would have it blown up the size of a house and put it on a billboard and put it right here in Frederick, New Brunswick. And everyone would look at it and be like, what the hell is that? That doesn't look familiar at all. And because no one would know because no one over here watches the EIHL, but at least it would be up there and at least that people would see it because that's how good it is. However, 
it'll do just fine on a jersey for now. I like the little change up of striping angle, I think in the middle. Again, the logo feels low, but that's not necessarily his fault. Colors are beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like both, actually. I don't know if I prefer one over the other. I think this is the first time where I've maybe equally been happy with both of these. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna choose one, actually. You guys can fight it out in the comments which one's better, but I, I think both are phenomenal. Let's move on to, okay, Manchester Storm. Interesting logo. I've always found this to be an incredibly interesting logo. I will say that I don't like the neck on the one that you designed. I think I prefer the one that exists. Uh, the striping is way better, and the rest of the jersey is way better than the one that exists. Look at the one, the original, down below. It's got these weird like stripes and patterns in the background, and maybe that would translate a little bit better, not on a concept like it's being displayed here, but in an actual version, it might be a little bit more subtle. But from what I can see on the original, it's too busy. There's too much going on in the background. The gradient is interesting, I'll give it that, but there's just so much going on. Like the, the jersey is already covered with ads. I don't think we need to busy up the jersey with a bunch of stuff in the background. To eat, uh, just to, It doesn't complement it, it just it complicates it. The jersey that he created, is great. I like the yellow at the bottom of the sleeves. I think that provides nice balance with the top of the neck there and the yellow in the logo. I might even add that yellow stripe at the bottom of the jersey in the middle as well, just to keep things a little bit more symmetrical and include uh, just that touch of yellow as, as in another spot. But everything else is great. I really like the arms. Don't mind the stripe at the bottom of the jersey. I have no real strong opinions of that. I wouldn't say I dislike the neck, but I like the neck of the original better. But yeah, great, great jersey. There's none of these I've disliked yet. Okay, next up, I think this is the second last one. Second last one, Nottingham Panthers. Just simple, right? Man, just simple. Nothing crazy going on. There's no gradients. There's no background texture. Both are nice. This might be a situation where I don't know if I prefer one or the other. The original is just so simple as well. I think I prefer the striping on the original. Okay, there's not really much else that's different, is there? The neck is different. I'm gonna say that I prefer the original, actually. Maybe the, for the first time in the video, I'm gonna prefer the original, but I don't like, I mean, sorry, I don't dislike the one that he curated. I think that's a, I think that's a very nice jersey. I like the simplicity of it. It's very clean compared to a lot of the others. And then the last one, the Sheffield Steelers. I like me some orange complemented with some blue. Now listen, if you're gonna put ads and logos from brands on jerseys, that's fine. But anytime you can incorporate that into like a section of the jersey, Look at the original. Here's what I'm getting at. At the bottom of the jersey, you've got some actually quite interesting striping. I, I don't mind it at all. But it gets totally butchered because you've got this white block in the middle of the f bottom of the jersey that just says cores. The logo's fine, but it's got this white patch block on the outside of it. And it just, it's, it looks so out of place. Now look at the one that he created. It's in the same spot. He's just put a white stripe in the background. It almost looks like it belongs there. It almost looks like part of the can, the Coors can. So I think that is, uh, I think that's awesome. Like I don't like the logo or I don't like the the ad or the, you know, the, the brand that's on there, obviously. Uh, that could remain off jerseys for the rest of my life and that, that would be, that would be great. But the fact that he incorporated it is awesome. Like he just, he thought about where could I put this where it wouldn't be standoutish and he did it and that's great. Now, above the logo, there's that one that still stands out that I don't like, but what are you going to do? You can't put a stripe across there. That would look like a tube top. So, yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, the neck is is much improved. I think the bottom of the jersey is improved. It's less busy overall. This is definitely nicer than the original. So, great job on this one. Now, my favorite. I got to go back here. Okay, so it's either between the Flames and the Flyers. I think I like the colors of the Flyers better but there's just something about that Flames jersey. I think it's because I've never seen a jersey like that before. And if I, if I have, I, for, I forget. I, I mean, I look at 2,000 plus concepts. Or I look at, oh geez, let's do the math. I do a jersey concept video every single Friday. Every video has at least 32 jerseys. I do it every Friday in the entire year. So that's 52 weeks, I think. I think there's 52 weeks in a year. So 52 times 34. Let's see what that is. Uh, let's okay. 52 times, sorry, 50 times 32, not 34. Uh, 1,664 jerseys. So I look at, I look at over 1,600 jersey concepts minimum a year, and I don't think I've ever seen that before. And I've been doing this for f over two years now, so let's times that by two. 3,328 jerseys essentially that I've looked at, or concepts rather. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, if, if I have, I don't remember it. So 
Yeah, this one's going to be my favorite, actually. So what do you guys think, though? I know a lot of my viewers obviously don't watch the EIHL. Most of you guys watch the NHL or the AHL or the ECHL, the OHL. You know, the list goes on here in North America. But there's a lot of really cool leagues outside of North America, and that's something that I've always liked to do is look at those other leagues around the world. This is the perfect example because the EIHL has interesting teams, interesting brands, really cool logos, and a great, great fan base. So give them some love down below in the comment section. Let them know or let Chris know, maybe specifically, what was your favorite jersey that he created? Is there anything that you disliked? Uh, you know, constructive criticism is always appreciated, uh, and I read all the comments, and I'm sure Chris will be tuning in as well to see the comments. So thank you, Chris, for submitting these. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. We got more hockey content coming on the channel, whether it's more jersey concepts, talking NHL playoffs, looking at some logos and stuff, and some helmet concepts, some, I think, uniform concepts. There's all kinds of stuff coming on the channel, so we'd love to have you on board if you're new. Otherwise, have a great day. I'll talk to you very soon. Adios.